Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we do a virtual walkthrough of the Sea Line F430, a flying bridge cruiser that can be seen as a modern update to Calypso herself. Sea Line is owned by Hanse Yachts, a German builder of high quality sailing vessels. I've actually had my eye on Sea Line as a brand for some time now. Initially as a possible replacement for Calypso 1 when we were looking for a larger vessel, but just because they have a good style and they seem to offer a pretty good value, not unlike Beneteau and Genoa, but the quality seems a little higher and the designs are a little more innovative, especially with their colored hulls, which is quite attractive. So let's get into the F430 and take a look at her specs, her layout, and her design. The 430 is a Volvo IPS powered boat and available with a number of innovative layouts. Let's take a look at her specifications and possible arrangements. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, and share. And check us out on the web at cruisingclipso.com. And to support the channel, please join our Patreon page. The link is in the comments below. The boat is 44 and a half feet long when you include her swim platform. She runs on a 13 9 inch beam drawing 4 feet 1 inch and has an air height of 17 7 inches. She has a displacement which is probably her dry rate of about 13 tons so call that 26 27 thousand pounds um, loaded probably closer to 31 or 32 thousand pounds. For tankage she carries 242 gallons of diesel 99 gallons of water. Now for comparison, Calypso carries 350 gallons of diesel and 120 gallons of water. As I mentioned, she is IPS powered and available with either the IPS 500 or 600 engines which are 380 or 440 horsepower. These engines are probably more efficient than Calypso's cats and so give her equivalent range with a less fuel. The boat is available with four possible sleeping accommodation arrangements but we'll start on the bridge. Her flying bridge and on-deck arrangement are fairly conventional by modern boat standards. On her bridge she has a table and settee and a starboard command station. On her main deck she has an aft galley which has become somewhat common these days, forward of which is a settee and on the starboard side an inside helm station. A little bit later in the video we'll take a look at some photos and videos of her interior spaces. She offers a partially covered cockpit with seating and a table leading down to her swim platform which is available on a hydraulic lift. On the accommodation deck, the layouts include four possible arrangements broken up into two areas, a forward stateroom and a midship stateroom. The forward stateroom can be configured as a large double or queen or twin scissor beds which can separate for, as two singles or come together as a full. That would be my preference to give this room the most flexibility. Moving aft, there are the twin heads which stay the same regardless of any of the setups. Both heads have separate enclosed stall showers, which is a nice feature to have. Then amidships, there is either the master stateroom, or this can be set up as two separate staterooms, giving a total of three. Now, while it is possible to have three staterooms on a 43-foot boat, and a number of boats do this, I find it particularly tight and would recommend going with the two stateroom arrangement. Now let's sit back and enjoy some views of the F430 courtesy of Sea Line.
The C-Line F430 represents the sweet spot in size and value. At 43 feet and having two cabins and two heads, she can comfortably sleep four or even six, so a family or two couples will be quite comfortable aboard. She can also be handled by just a couple alone. Her price starts at $647,000 according to the C-Line website, but once you fully equip her with some of the high, high price items like air conditioning, and the hydraulic swim platform, you're pushing $700,000. If you compare that to what we saw for a million dollars, which included several boats in the just 40 feet, this represents a good value. So we'll wrap this video here. Make sure you put in the comments any boats you'd love us to take a look at, and we'll see you on the next time.